Axial flux motors are considered the ultimate future of electric vehicles and most importantly of electric aviation because they have a high torque to weight ratio, which is ideal for aircraft. Companies like Rolls-Royce and Magnex have intense research and development in progress on these motors. Interestingly, the first ever electrical generator developed by the genius Michael Faraday was an axial flux type. You can see the axis of rotation is parallel to flux lines. However, it never got its day in the sun back then. Based on the orientation of magnetic flux, electric machines can be divided into two types. First is the radial flux motor, which is used in 99% of applications today. And second is the axial flux motor. In a radial flux motor, the magnetic flux is perpendicular to the axis of rotation. In an axial flux motor, the magnetic flux lines are parallel to the axis of rotation. Now let's see how the axial flux motor actually works. The axial motor's operation is based on the interaction between the permanent magnet and the electromagnets. When coils are energized, they become electromagnets. The most common design of axial flux motors have fixed coils and freely rotating permanent magnets. Here, the motor's coil arrangement is shown. When a direct current supply is given to one of the coils, it gets energized and becomes an electromagnet. When coil A gets energized in this way, the S pole of the rotor is attracted to the stator's opposite N pole. Simultaneously, the like poles repel. The tangential component of these two forces is shown here. The tangential force components make the rotor rotate. When the rotor aligns with coil A, the net force acting on the permanent magnet becomes zero. Will the rotor motion stop at this point? The rotor's speed or the inertia effect causes it to travel ahead of the perfect alignment angle. During this time, the next coil, B, gets energized because of the same forces of attraction and repulsion. The rotor then reaches near to coil B. Later, coil C gets energized. After that, in the next half rotation, coil A energizes again, but this time with the opposite polarity just by changing the supply directions. The process constantly repeats and the rotor continues to rotate. However, in this operation, you can see two coils are always dead. These coils drastically reduce the motor's power output. Here's the trick to overcome this problem. We simply have to pass the opposite polarity current through the second coil. To ease the understanding, let's focus just on the nearest pairs of magnets. You can see that at the stator side, two south poles are together. The combined effect of these two poles will be here, and based on this, we can have an easy force analysis. Here again, a net tangential force is developed. The combined effect produces more torque and power output from the rotor. Interestingly, this process also ensures that the motor has a constant torque output. The question is, how will you decide which coil to energize to get continuous rotation? For this purpose, we use a smart electronics controller. The sensor determines the rotor's position, and based on this information, the controller decides which coil to energize. Theoretically, the rectangular pulses like this produces a constant torque output for the axial motors. However, in practice, when you suddenly switch on or switch off a phase current, ripples will be produced in the other two phases. Thus, the torque quality will be affected. The best solution to overcome the issue is to gradually kill or raise the phase current resulting into a pattern like this. Let's compare the axial flux motor with the most commonly used motor the radial flux induction motor. The first differentiating factor is the flux flow path in the machines. If you compare the magnetic flux pattern of both the motors, you can see that the axial motor's flux flow path is much more dense and shorter when compared to the induction motor. To confirm the flux paths, let's take help from the FEA. Here is an FEA result in EMWorks 2D software paired alongside SOLIDWORKS. The interaction between rotor and the stator magnetic field generates torque. 
Here, some field loops rarely interact with the rotor. On the other hand, in the axial motors, the majority of the flux lines lie in the useful work area to generate torque. For this reason, the axial flux motor gets a higher density of flux, thus generating a higher torque output from the same size of the motor. The second differentiating factor is the larger diameter. In axial flux motors, the rotor magnets can be located further away from the central rotating axis. This larger radius allows the motor to generate more torque, made clear by this simple torque equation. However, if you try to increase the diameter of the induction motors, the rotor's inertia will increase, which can lead to the motor sniffing up huge currents during the start. Axial flux motors keep this issue under control, as the rotors already have less inertia. There you have it. A 200-year-old motor is currently the most powerful and efficient motor of our day. These lightweight motors are the best choice for electric airplanes. In aviation, every ounce you save is a boon. The Ion Bird craft developed by Rolls-Royce uses three such motors by Yasa. These motors are powered by 6,000 lithium-ion batteries and a smart electronics controller. With an incredible efficiency level promise of more than 96% and their compact size, axial flux motors can even become a good choice in electric cars. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to be a part of the Lessex team. Thank you.